example 21. Given P is a matrix containing the elements 211, 321, 212. Find the inverse of P by using elementary row operations. To find the inverse of P by using elementary row operations, ERO, we are going to use a technique which will enable us to execute the process on a step-by-step -step basis. Bear in mind of these two essential things in order to make use of this technique. First is to refer to the respective columns going from column 1, column 2 and column 3 when creating equations for the new rows. The second thing to note is to leave the procedure involving matrix diagonals for the end. We carry out the following procedure when given P equals to 211, 111, 221, and we are asked to find the inverse of P by using ERO. Before anything, we need to write the matrix P given in an augmented matrix form as the following, 211, 321, 212 on our left, and the identity matrix 100, 010, 001 on our right. Our aim here is to perform ERO until eventually getting the identity matrix on the left-hand side of the augmented matrix and the inverse matrix on the right-hand side. So the augmented system PI becomes IP inverse. So here are a few things to take note of. The letter C is used to denote the element we are changing, whereas the letter D is used to denote the diagonal element. R1 represents row 1, R2 represents row 2, and R3 represents row 3. New row 1, new row 2, and new row 3 are written as R1, R2, and R3 with an asterisk symbol. Let's begin with our first step. For this, we refer to column 1 of the matrix. We leave the diagonal elements of matrix P as they are. With reference to column 1, row 2 and row 3 contain the elements that will be changed. Now referring to row 2, the element in row 2 that will be changed is 3, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is 2, which exists in row 1. Then. We find the equation for new row 2 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, new row 2 is equal to 2R2 minus 3R1. The same procedure is repeated for row 3, starting with the establishment of the element that will be changed and the diagonal element up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 3. With that, new row 3 is equal to 2R3 minus 2R1. Row 1 remains unchanged in this step. Therefore, we just rewrite all the elements from row 1 as they are. Bear in mind that at this point, all the elements in column 1 besides the diagonal element have been changed to 0. Moving on to our second step, we now refer to column 2 of the matrix. With reference to column 2, row 1 and row 3 contain the elements that will be changed. Now referring to row 1, the element in row 1 that will be changed is 1, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is 1, which exists in row 2. Then, we find the equation for new row 1 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, New row 1 is equal to R1 minus R2. The same procedure is repeated for row 3, starting with the establishment of the elements that will be changed and the diagonal element up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 3. With that, we get new row 3 is equal to R3 minus 0. Row 2 remains unchanged in this step. Therefore, we just rewrite all the elements from row 2 as they are. 
Bear in mind that, at this point, all the elements in row 2 besides the diagonal element have been changed to 0. Let's proceed to the third step, which we are going to do by referring to column 3 of the matrix. With reference to column 3, row 1 and row 2 contain the elements that will be changed. Now, referring to row 1, the element in row 1 that will be changed is 2, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is 2, which exists in row 3. Then, we find the equation for new row 1 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, new row 1 is equal to 2R1 minus 2R3. The same procedure is repeated for row 2, starting with the establishment of the element that will be changed and the diagonal element up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 2. With that, new row 2 is equal to 2R2 plus R3. For the fourth and final step of this technique we are using to execute ERO, we refer to the matrix diagonal. With reference to the matrix diagonal of the matrix on the left-hand side of the augmented system, we divide each row by the diagonal element to create an identity matrix on the left. So row 1 is divided by 4, row 2 is divided by 2, and row 3 is divided by 3. With that, the matrix obtained on the right-hand side of the augmented system is the inverse of matrix P. Therefore, P inverse is equal to 3, negative 1, negative 1, negative 4, 2, 1, negative 1, 0, 1.